Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. We today are going to start saving some peppers. Now we had our big frost, we had to pick all the peppers, and so it's time to save some seeds. It, realistically, it may be a little late actually, but we're gonna save these seeds. We got all kinds of different peppers. The main thing I wanna save today is gonna be the Carolina Reapers. Carolina Reapers are by far the hottest pepper I've ever eaten, and I think they're pretty much the hottest pepper there is. So saving seeds is extremely important. A lot of people don't know how to save the seeds, and so different varieties of plants are lost simply because you don't know these simple, simple steps. And when I say simple, I mean simple. With these, you definitely want to wear a glove. I cut up a bunch of chocolate bootlers one time with no glove, I didn't realize every time I cut a pepper, it was squirting just a teeny bit of juice on my fingers, and I suffered for a week over that. So, you want to wear the glove. All you have to do to save these seeds, cut your pepper in half. That will expose the seeds. Paper towel. Very, very inexpensive way to dry these seeds. And now that everybody quit panicking and buying all the paper towels up, you can get them again. Just cut out the heart of that pepper and you'll get all the seeds. Now you're gonna get, you're getting a lot of the placenta and stuff that you'll get off later. And just put your peppers, you can you do whatever you want with your peppers. I'm gonna smoke and dry mine and make smoke pepper powder, but you can do whatever you want with them after you get them cleaned out. Recently, I made a video talking about Eric Hale and the fact that he eat Carolina Reaper on his channel, and uh, and he did. And I, you know, I kind of feel bad that he did that and that I never have done that. It's a little bit of an embarrassment. One thing I have found out over the years. When these peppers start deteriorating, they get overripe, they start getting soft and juicy, they get hotter. And some of these here, I'm not willing to just start munching down right now. If you'll keep watching this video here in a minute, I might, I might pop part of one in my mouth just so you can laugh at me. I don't know. I've never done it before. Now, I've eaten some uh, lemon starburst. I have eaten lemon starburst on the channel. That was that was warm enough to suit me. And I ate one of these. This is a Scotch Brain. I ate one of them for lunch. I still feel just a little warmth coming down through here. And so that makes me kind of wonder if I really want to eat the hottest pepper in the world or right on top of that one, which it's still a super hot, even though maybe it ain't the hottest in the world. This here is a half of a Carolina Reaper. I don't think I want to eat half. I, I, I know you're going to be disappointed in me. I'm going to take it down to about a fourth. That's as big as, as Eric Hale ate, and it's got the stinger on it, just like it was in the video where he ate it. I'm not going to talk a lot because you breathe it in. Okay, I'll eat you. <coughs> I was gonna eat the other half. I'm gonna, eat the, <coughs> I'm gonna eat the other half. The other quarter. Hmm, not hot. warm but <clears throat> every time you eat a hot pepper you increase your ability to eat a hotter pepper and so if I'm going to do it I better do it now because, because the hot peppers will be gone pretty soon and I'll look uh, my resistance will go down to drastically I'm not going to eat another half of it the heat is all right here. Starts about in the middle of my mouth, in the middle of my tongue, down to about my throat. And buddy, it's building. Woo! 
it's building. I'm gonna have to wipe my head. Lord have mercy. Still building. All right, turn off the camera. I'm gonna have to get something. Lord have mercy. I got a milk cow. We make our own buttermilk. Lord have mercy. It just keeps it building. Even with the, even with the uh, milk, it only helps while it's there. As soon as it's gone, boom. Mm. Well, you've seen probably the only time I'll ever do this. That's hot. <clears throat> I could. I could cut all this footage out and make it look like I'm tough, but I ain't that tough. I love to eat hot pepper with my food, but you don't get that intense burning. Mm. Hats off to Eric Hale and all them boys that do this all the time. That's just <coughs> not my cup of tea. I feel like I'm pretty tough because I ate that half of a reaper and of course Eric Hell he ate a third it looked like on his. We ain't nothing. Ernie Hatmaker ate three of my hot peppers. They was one reaper, one chocolate, and one, I'm not sure what it was, but she ate three of them. It's on her channel. You can go back and see it. You'll have to go back a ways because it's been over a year, but I cannot imagine the pain that she must have been in. <clears throat> Woo! I'm making mm. you want to drink some milk. Mm. Oh. Ugh. And even after burning her mouth that bad, she still liked me good enough to get me this hat. Can you believe that? She's the one that had this hat made. And I appreciate it. But she's a lot tougher than the two of us put together. Ah! I guarantee it'll open up your sinuses. Wow, that is something else. Well, I am gonna finish cutting up these peppers and saving these seeds and if you would like to see a video on how to smoke the reapers and make your powder or flakes, drop down in the comments, let me know if you want to see it. I'll sure put it out there. But I guess that's about all that I can show you today. Just cut and you leave, leave your seeds on these paper towels for about a day, a day and a half, two days, whatever. They will get so dry and then you can store them in your little bags, put them in the refrigerator, freezer, whatever and they'll be good next spring when you plant them. And you need to plant these in mid-December to late January. That's your time frame. Otherwise, you don't have enough time to get these uh, to bear fruit before frost because it takes them forever to grow. So that is my tips for you. If you're a hot pepper person, more than likely, more than likely you already know these facts. But if you don't, there you go. So we're going to get on out of here for now. We appreciate you watching this video, whether you laugh at me or not. So we're going to get, I hope y'all have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.